Hello, students. Good evening to everybody. Welcome to our English class. Are you ready? Hello, hello. Good evening. Are you ready? Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, Welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to have you here. A beautiful night today. And also ready to practice and learn because this is one of the goals to have the opportunity to speak English and practice in the class. So welcome. I know that is a very, very, um, you know, challenging experience because it's nine and most of you are tired because of your jobs and some other activities, but you're here and that's beautiful. That shows that you are ready to learn and study. So welcome everybody. And I hope that we will enjoy this class. And it's always uh, necessary to, you know, to do our best, to study hard and show that we are ready to practice English. Okay, don't forget about, you know, I'm a little nervous. I don't know how to say this in English. Just be you in practice. That's, that's one of the ways we can make a difference about what we're doing. We're learning and practicing, speaking in English. So that's uh, fascinating. Okay, so let's begin. I will also uh, share right now the attendance list and also the presentation for this class. Is there. Vamos a ver. Quiero compartir. Me dicen si pueden visualizarlo. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank yes. You, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, before we start, I just want to ask you, what do you remember we started in the last class? ¿Qué se acuerdan que estudiamos? What we did? ¿Qué estudiamos? What we started? Adjective possessive. Um, All right. Yes. What else? Pronunciation. Oh, pronunciation. Okay. That's right. Excelente. Muy bien. That's the way. Uh, we have been discussing a little bit about, you know, possessive, but at the same time, we had the opportunity to speak English to practice and also with some conversations. We will continue today working with some other topics for the class. And we have the WH questions would be remember that one of the goals for for this activity is that we are um, having a, a short feedback of the previous topics because most of these topics we have studied in in the previous levels but it's no bad because at the same time we can remember the topics and it's going to be great for all of us muy bien no se les olvide también tener las cámaras encendidas Por eso creo que les, no sé si les mandaron hoy ese aviso de que tienen que tenerlas eh, encendidas. You know, in, in all the class, most of the time, during the class, it's very important. Okay, so we have some questions with, uh, with B, like, what's your name? Uh, where's your friend? Who's on he? What are your classmates like? We also have, um, where are you and Luis from? And how are your classmates? And what we had to do, so short feedback, because we haven't started this one before, is to try to use the most appropriate WH equations like what, where, when, which, who. Read the statements and read the equations and write the WH equation that match each statement here. We have one, two, and three four, five, and six, okay? So let's do this one right now. After that, I want you to write five questions about your classmates. Then ask and answer the questions. For example, you will think about five possible questions. Like for example, where are you from? What is your favorite movie? Where, where do you come from? Uh, who is your best friend? How are your job? How are you, how was your job, for example? 
Entonces, ustedes van a escribir, luego que vamos a contestar la primera parte, que es la B, vamos a completarla, les voy a dar unos minutitos, y luego ustedes van a escribir cinco preguntas acerca a sus compañeros. Cualquier pregunta que tenga que ver con un WH Question. Y luego, pues, vamos a formar unos breakout rooms y ustedes van a compartir esas preguntas, como, like, uh, ¿qué, ¿qué puedo preguntarle con who? Ah, ok, who is your brother? Oh, my brother is Thomas. Oh, who is your boss? Oh, my boss is Damon. Uh, where, where is your friend from? Oh, he is from, he comes from San Miguel. He comes from Santa Ana. And um, how is your job? Ah, it's great, it's very fascinating. What is your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie is this one. So you have to write five questions about uh, something that you would like to ask to your classmates. Muy bien, tenemos la primera. La vamos a pedir a, a Claudia Jocelyn que nos lea el primer ejemplo. The number one because it's completed. So Jocelyn. Oh, I'm sorry. Claudia Jocelyn. Eh, Serían las que dice, what's your name? Eh, la parte B, donde de la 1, la A y B de la 1. Ah, ok. Who's that? Oh, that's meat. What? Thank you. So in that case, we use who is, because we're talking about a person. Who's that? ¿Quién es ese? Entonces, la mejor double equation will be who's. Ok, look at the number two and check that. Look at the number two, students. Where is she from? Where is she from? Okay, so you are like saying that the, the possible answer for the number two would be, oh, where is she from? Where is, right? Entonces la número dos sería, where is, right? Where? Okay, that would be the most appropriate because we're talking about a person. A third person. So where is where is she from? She's from Miami. And that's okay. That's correct. What about the number three? Tell me with that. What do you think would be the best one? What's her free snake? What? What's her? Okay. Using contractions will be what? Okay. What's her first name? And it's Celia. Yes. Okay. What about the number four? Help me with the number four. Think about it. Yes. 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 Number four. Number four. They are the two students of over here. Mm, remember that is a question, so try to change this equation. Who's who are who are the two students over there? Ah, okay. Who are the two students over there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, who are the two students over there? And the answer is uh, their names are. Jeremy and Karen. Okay. That's okay. Okay, number five. Think about this one. They frown and they, they are from Vancouver, Canada. So they are Canadians. Number five. Where are they from? Okay, where are they're they from they are they are from Vancouver, Canada. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, that's right. Makes sense. The number five. And the last but not the least. What will be the last one? How are their life? What do you think? How are they like? Mm, okay, and the, uh, check the answers. They are child, but friendly. So they are talking about personalities. 
So that would be a possibility too. How are they like? ¿Cómo son ellos? Sería como, como la pregunta. ¿Cómo son ellos? Oh, they are child but very friendly. Talking about personality. Who are they like? How oh, are? Uh. Mm, that would be how, like the, the most, we would say the closest. And also like, how do you look like? But it's totally different. How do you look like? In this case, it's a different way. And how are they like? In it is the way. Okay, now uh, what I want you to do is to write five questions that you would like to ask a classmate because we'll be working in some breakout rooms and you will ask this question to your classmates. We will have a short talk and we will discuss these questions. That's what we had to do. Entonces, quiero que piensen en este momento en cinco preguntas que ustedes le quieren hacer a sus compañeros, ya sea utilizando what, where, who, uh, how, y se las van a hacer y sus compañeros van a contestar. Pues yo le digo, por ejemplo, Francisco, ok, uh, what is your last name? O oh, Claudia, uh, where are you from? O oh, Francisco, who is your best friend? So we are talking about uh, some questions and you have to answer these questions in the small groups. So think about the five questions and then we will create the breakout rooms and all of you have access to the rooms to practice the conversation. Remember that the main goal for those parties is to speak English, right? That's one of the goals. Eh, preguntas sobre esto? Todo claro? Sí. Yes. Todo claro como el agua, como el chuco. How was that? Like water. Right? Okay, like water. That's much better. Okay, ya me, me dicen cuando ya tengan las cinco preguntas, me dicen, teacher, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready, teacher. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's create the breakout rooms and you will take in a short time, like around four minutes and you will socialize this information. One second, please. And breakout rooms, let me see how many members we have right now. Okay, we're gonna be asking for four members here. Okay, so let's create them and let's practice English. Entonces pueden ir accesando ya los grupos y cuando entren, pues ustedes comienzan a hacerles preguntas a sus eh, compañeros.
Um, hi, Luisa. Eh, ¿No le aparece la notificación? Eh, no, creo que el, la respuesta sería corta, no, no, no. ¿Qué es? O, 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 o sea, hay... ¿Hay alguna compañera que quiera también participar? Esmeralda, Carmen. Yo creo que ya se terminó el tiempo, ¿o todavía no? Nos quedan unos segunditos. Ok, eh, nada más... Uh... Tengo unos acá, unas preguntas acá como What is your book? For example. What is your book? ¿Cuál es ese libro? Sería, ¿verdad? Um, no. ¿Tu libro? What is your book? Ajá. O sea, ¿cuál es? ¿Cuál es ese libro? ¿Para qué se vale? Sí. Más que todo está, estamos trabajando lo quizás como, como de presentación, de conocimiento. Y nombres, eh, de vives. Tengo otra. Ajá, tengo otra. Who is eh, who is no. Who? Permítame. How are your mother? ¿Cómo está tu mamá? How, how are your mother? Eh, so ahí, ahí tendría que decir she's fine. Mm. No. Pues, en respuesta corta, quizá, ¿verdad? O sea, sí. la respuesta está bien. Yo solo tengo, yo solo me recuerdo más que todo del, del what, del how y del where. No sé los otros dos si me podrían ayudar. El where. where is... El where is de, es de dónde, ¿verdad? Yes. Es Por ejemplo, where is de dónde. Where is your... Eh, un ejemplo Where you from que de donde donde eres ¿verdad? Where, where, are, you where are you from sí. where, where are you from? from otro ejemplo más porque ese es el más común when do you live donde tú you vives live? when do you live es, es parecida Lo único, uh -huh. una se pregunta dónde y la otra de dónde eres o sea, pero es casi parecida when do you live más y con, y, y con las otras dos palabras, con las otras dos palabras, ¿cuáles son las dos? Porque, Andrea, Andrea, when is your birthday? Ah, este, my birthday is in July. Ah, uh, ok. Um, how old are you? I'm a king. <laughs> I'm Jennifer. Ah, okay, and I'm 28 years old. And where are you from, Dennis? I'm from San Salvador. Okay. What How is your... You? Okay, see, see. Sí. <laughs> what is your favorite color? I can. I was thinking, I was thinking. Uh -huh, sí. My favorite color is red and green okay and you Lisa 
What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. A ver, una pregunta para todos. Um, what do you want? What do you want to learn English? Ahí, no sé qué quiera contestar. Repeat, please. Why do you want to learn English? ¿Por qué quieres aprender inglés? ¿Sería why o what? Why. Sería because. Because es para contestar. Para la pregunta es why. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Because is interesting. Se trabó, no soy yo. Okay, students, um, you know, your classmates are joining the main section here. And also, congratulations for the practice. I could be most of you asking some questions and also responding some questions uh, given by your classmates. And that is one of the ways, right, to have the opportunity to practice and also socialize with the vocabulary that we are studying in every single class. That's why it's going to be important. So don't forget, guys, to like to have the camera on. It's it's um, something given by Insafor. So I don't need to be like, you know, telling you what to do. Recuerden que Insafor monitorea eh, las clases y monitorea a los estudiantes. Entonces, es por eso que siempre les recuerdan que tienen que tener sus cámaras encendidas, que es un, un requisito eh, primordial para Insafor e Inglés Corporativo. Entonces, sí les voy a agradecer ahí que ustedes lo tomen en cuenta. Um, that's something that we had to do, friends, right? So let's continue. So congratulations for the work done in this case. También les voy a pedir que tengan eh, sus nombre completo en su pantalla. Por ejemplo, tenemos a Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Muy bien, porque tiene su nombre completo y se puede leer acá. También tenemos a Francisco Alexander eh, Villafuerte. También tiene completo su nombre. Mire, yo no lo tengo completo, Oye. pero, pero ¿cómo lo cambio ahorita? Yo sé que antes de la reunión lo puedo cambiar, lo puedo escribir completo, pero ahorita. Um, deme su segundo nombre. Ay, ¿Cuál segundo? Primero, porque oh. el segundo yo lo tengo. Ah, Perdón. Entonces, ¿cuál es el primero? <ríe> este, Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Vamos a ver. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva, Villanueva Serrano. Okay. Orgullo de soltería. Mentira. Ok. <laughs> All right. So, good. Vamos a ver. Me dice si... Ahí está. Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Muy bien. Ah, ok. Gracias. All right. So, let's continue with the next exercise. We have practice the following greetings. Eh, como sabemos, en el mundo hay diferentes formas de, de saludarnos. Las personas tienen diferentes culturas. They have different traditions, different ways to communicate. It's uh, magnificent. So you can see here in the picture some ways of people can have a greeting, greetings from around the world. Son saludos alrededor del mundo. 
Y tenemos el primero que dice a handshake. You know, it's very common to give a handshake when you uh, meet someone. Hello, my name is, oh, and nice to meet you. So you give a handshake. It's very common. This greeting internationally. Many, many countries around the world, people greet giving a shake hands. So that's okay. One second, we have the next one. And also we have a bow. Look at this one, we have a bow and we have a kiss on the cheek, a hug. Look at the pictures. Just give me one second. One second. So you can check some uh, famous greetings, like for example, about, this is a very common, um, I could say in Asian cultures or Asian countries like China, like Japan, and also Korea, the people, they don't uh, give a handshake, they make a bow. Que es como hacer una, una reverencia, un saludo. So they don't touch each other, no se tocan las manos, sino que pues, it's como un pequeño saludo de referencia. That is about. And then we have a kiss on the cheek. This is very common in America and also European countries. Also, it is not so common in Asian countries like, well, China, Japan, and also, you know, uh, Korea. It's not common, this kind of greetings, but kiss on the cheek and a hug, right? That is a very, very common greeting. Like a hug, it's como un abrazo, you know? People, when they have like more confidence, they, they, you know, they give a hug, right? That is very, very common, especially in America. Most of these greetings are very common in America, except in about, because we don't do that. Um, and also we have a pat on the back. A pat on the back is like mm, common in, for example, in some European countries, perhaps right here in the, in the country too, but it's like not so common. A pat in the back will say it in Spanish like, darse como una palmadita así en espalda. Ustedes se saludan así? Do you greet people giving a pat on the back? Yes, in the work, uh, I saludo así. I greet, I, I greet. Okay. Some men. With some okay. men, okay, with some men, okay. You give a pat on the back, right? La palmadita, right? You give a pat on the back. And also handshake and the other ones are very common, except in a bow, but it's not so common. And, and also give a kiss on the cheek. Uh, some people that are very, very friendly, they are friends, also you can do that. Uh, at the university, you cannot, says uh, Carmen. No se puede en la universidad. Wait, I don't know. I don't know what's that. Okay, so we are talking about that. So special greetings. So which greetings are typical in your country? I think most of them are typical. Can you write the name of a country for each greeting? Um, vamos, a contest vamos a contestar las, las tres preguntas que están ahí. Uh, which greetings are typical in your country? ¿Cuáles saludos son los más comunes en El Salvador? Aquí en nuestro amado país. Can you write the name of a country for each greeting? Pueden nombrar un país que represente cada uno de estos saludos y what are other ways to greet people y también otro cuáles son las otras maneras para saludar a las personas mientras ustedes contestan esas preguntas voy a pasar la asistencia así que voy a eh, quitar esta presentación para poder pasar la asistencia
Ok, usted escucha su nombre y me dice presente. ¿Sí? Yes. All right, let's start. Eh, Adriana Gretel González. Present. Eh, Agustín Alexander Santa María. Present. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Present. Carmen Andrea Santos Martínez. Carmen Andrea Santos. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. Present. Eh, Denis Alonso Marinero. Present. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Present. Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Fred, Freddy José Álvarez. Freddy José Álvarez. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor. Gabriela Guadalupe. Eh, Gabriela María Peña. Gabriela María Peña. Eh, Gerson eh, Vinicio Moreno Funes. Glendy Elisette. Eh, Flores Ramírez. Presente. Eh, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. I'm here. Thanks. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Liliana Portillo. Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Presente. Um, Catherine Yasmin Guatemala Arias. Present. Uh, Lisa Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra. Bueno, ahí está, right? Margarita, Present. Ok, Margarita Elizabeth Panameño. Present. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present. Um, Nerlin. Jaciel Flores Reyes. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera. Presente. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. I'm present. Ok, thank you. Ok, let's continue guys with the next exercise. So, ready? ¿Ya estamos listos? Are you ready to share your answers? ¿Están listos para compartir sus respuestas? Yeah. Yes, that's great. All right, so that's something important. We will take at least some minutes. And we'll, we will open the breakup rooms and you will share the answers we have together. For this one, we have around three, four minutes. So we don't have, we won't take too much time to work in this activity. Entonces, entramos a los grupos y usted comparte su respuesta. La respuesta 1, ¿qué, qué país representa también. La respuesta 2, qué país representa cada saludo. Y pues la tercera, you know, otra forma de saludar. Ok, so we will open the breakout rooms and you will socialize this information with your partners. Remember, the most important is that you have the freedom to speak in class. Don't worry if you say, teacher, I don't know, I have some doubts to participate. Remember, we're in a class, we are learning, we are practicing, so don't be committed. Try to answer the way you can. Let's go. Teacher. Hello, yes. Eh, Puede enviar otra vez el enlace que no sé. Vaya, vaya, ahorita la voy a mandar al grupo. Ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome.
Aunque más que todo, yo he visto que en San Salvador es bien común. El, aquí está, a kiss on the check es bien común. Sí. Pero en otros municipios es más, ajá, es más como que, no sé, no, no, no es tan común. Porque, por ejemplo, eh, I, with my friends, use a uh, give me five, chocarlas. It, it, it's, it's common uh, in, in El Salvador. Hacer eso, chocar, la, chocar puños, eh, o chocar, dar cinco, es, es bastante común. Aquí son de check, también es bastante común, más que todo entre amigos. Ajá. Amigas. Oh, with, with, with family. Uh -huh. O digamos que en. Eh, ¿Dónde está? Ajá, huh. creo que es un abrazo, es también bastante común. Sí. Creo que es una. Ajá, depende del, como que el momento, ¿verdad? Pero a, a who, creo que también es un. Uh, for example, in the beer dates, when it's my beer, my parents give me a who. Me dan un abrazo, por, eh, o, en, o en, en Christmas. Es común. Pero sí hay otros más comunes. El saludo también que se ha dado con el codo por la pandemia, pero saber cómo se dice. Ah, es cierto. Algunos practican. Ajá. Pero sí, porque con... se dejó de usar bastante el hack. Si dice aquí, yo ni sabía que esa handshake es como darse la mano. Handshake. Ajá. Y eso es común. Es como en las entrevistas. Eh. Y es formal también, siento yo, porque... En las también. Ajá. Sí, en, en un ámbito formal es más como un, un handshake. handshake. Ajá, creo que lo único que no ocupamos es el, el de cortesía que ocupan en Asia. Es uh, about. El, el de about, el que no ocupamos nosotros, creo. Ajá. Que es como una reverencia. Sí, más que todo en Asia. Ajá. Ajá. Es como una reverencia, pero por ejemplo, unas palmaditas, eh, creo que es el último, ¿verdad? Que dice a pat on the back. O solo es como un abrazo. Es como un abrazo en la, porque back es espalda. Ay, es como que, ajá, un abrazo, pero abierto. Los brazos ajá. así. Sí, como que se comienzan a tocar así la, la espalda y. No son palmaditas, también, entonces. Ajá. También es muy común. Bueno, yo lo suelo ver a veces. Así por donde yo más o menos ando. El de la espalda. Ajá. El de Ajá, la espalda. Sí. sí, ese es bastante común. Yo también a los niños me gusta así como que darles unas palmaditas. Así como, no sé. Siempre es por la espalda. <risa> siempre sería un apat on the back, pero con palmaditas. Así de, ¿cómo estás? Ajá. Otra forma de saludo sería sobre el que le dicen buenos días, buenas tardes. Ah, sí. Good morning. Good. Uh -huh. Sí, eso serían Good formales. Afternoon. Pero ya si, si estamos así como que WhatsApp, ya es como que... Okay, your partners are coming back to, you know, to the main station. I hope that uh, all of you could have socialized a little bit about the, you know, the gradients, especially we have some gradients. For example, if I ask uh, Mayra Patricia, for example, what are the most common gradients you give? Uh, what are the most common gradients for you? Um, greetings in, in our country, uh, handshake. Norm is normal in the work or business. Um, a kiss on the cheek with friends and family. I hope, I hope it's normal in 
our country. Excellent. And in your case, what is the most common? A greeting? A kiss on the cheek. Okay. Thank you. And Francisco? Hello. Uh, what is the most common greeting for you, Francisco? Oh, uh, the most greeting for me is a um, handshake or a hug. A hug. A hug. A hug. A hug. Okay. Oh, nice. It's a hug. And a pat on the back is not so common? What? A pat on the back? Uh, no. mm, uh, only the work for one. Um, uh, it's a, uh, a colleague. A colleague. Yeah. Uh, a colleague. All right. A colleague. Oh, for, That's for, 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 uh, for congratulations. Hey, dude. Man. Okay. That's great. So that is in a special time. Okay, we have a short conversation. Look at this one. We won't go deeper in that one because we have some other topics to socialize. I just want you to listen to this conversation. The question is, how is it going? Es como, como van las cosas? How is it going? Y pues nos dice la conversation. Hey, David, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are, you, are your classes interested in this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry, are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning and her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Look at this conversation. It's, it's a very common conversation between two friends. And um, that is like the, the, the most common equation. How's, how it going? How is it going? And in Espanol, para nosotros, el how it's going, es como decir, ¿cómo te va? Por eso le pregunta, hey, David, how is it going? How's, how's it going? How is it going? Fine, things. How are you? Lo más común es como que, ¿cómo estás? Right? How are you? How it's going es un poquito como más friendly, más, más amigable, más, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo te va? En vez de decir, how are you, que es de los más formales. So, entonces, por eso le dice, fine, thanks, because he's actually doing great, or pretty good. Pretty good, que significaría bastante bien, you know, pretty good. You know, and they start talking about their class. It's in a good conversation. Okay, look at this one. We have some uh, statement here that is like a short, a short backup for you guys. Yes, no questions and short answers would be, are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he is not. No, he isn't. Is Beth class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It no, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we are not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they aren't. So we have the base form of the that the just no questions and your answers. You don't have to give an explanation, you just say yes or not. Okay, as a short practice, what I want you to do is to um, complete the conversation using the best answer, the best form of the verb be. Is RM. Tenemos la primera. Le vamos a pedir a Andrea Esmeralda que nos lea la primerita, the number one. Solo la letra A. Okay. Is Mr. Gray from the United States? Okay, thank you. So you can see that Andrea, she mentioned the first one is is. Is Miss Gray from the United States? Yes, she. Y usted ve cuál es el, de, la parte del verbo be que va en esa oración. Recuerde que tiene que usar is, are, e, am. So... I give you short time to complete it, all right? 
Así que les voy a dar dos minutitos para que lo completen. Si ya lo tienen, me dicen, teacher, I'm ready. I'm ready. Excellent. Finish. Okay, let's socialize the first one. Um, it's Miss Grade from the United States. Yes, she is. She, she is. From Chicago. From Chicago. From Chicago. That's correct. So we have this one. So number one is is. is, is. What, is. Yes. What about the number two? What do you have for a number two? No. It is. It is. It. Number two. It is. Is, is or it is. It is. Mm, it is. Is. Is, right? The number two is it's is. Not is the same. It is and it's. It is not. No, it ya, isn't. Es que ya está English class. Entonces, it haría la función de English class. Entonces, solo sería is. Is English class at 10? At 10. Es la clase no. de inglés a las 10? No, it is. Mm. Mm. Okay. So then the answer is no, it, it is. isn't, right? It's using contractions, so you can say it isn't, right? Okay, what about the number three? What about this? Are, are you? Are you? Are you Monique from France? Are you Monique from France? And the answer is? Yes, we, we are. are. We are from Paris. From Paris. Uh, from parents okay they are they are we, we are from parents okay and the number four is are mr and mrs cuando usted ve una m r s eh, usted dice mrs para referirnos a señora mrs yes. mrs mrs Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. No, they are. And Mrs. Mr. Tavares American. Mr. and Mrs. No, they. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. aren't. No, they are Brazilian. Aren't. That's right. So they are Brazilian. They are from a different nationality. It's very different. Are Brazilian. Okay, that's great about the nationalities. Okay, look at the following exercise. That is related to also the double equations for him. Look at this one. Complete these conversations, then practice. Is Miss Gray from the United States? You can see yes. She. And also that the answers, right? One, two, three, and four. Entonces, vamos a completar la conversación utilizando la mejor forma. Así que yo les voy a dar aquí unos minutitos antes de culminar nuestra clase para que podamos completar ejercicio A ese no es el que acabamos de completar sí sí es el mismo excuse me es el mismo the same yes es el mismo solo que eh, aquí amplía un poco más si ustedes se fijan la anterior es un poquito más corta um, here Look. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. Uh, part B. Answer these part questions. B. Part B. Answer these questions about yourself. Oh, yes. And you answer no. Give the correct information and ask your partner the questions like, are you from the United States? No, I'm not. I'm from Salvador. No, I'm not. I'm from Mexico. No, I'm not. I'm from Canada. Is your teacher from Canada? No, he's not. He's from Salvador. Is your English class in the morning? English no. class in the afternoon? No. Is your English class in the evening? Evening, yes. So you can you cannot say at night. Instead of that, you say evening. Are you and your best friend uh, the same age? In this case, it will be night. Yes. Or evening. 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 Okay, so write five questions about your classmates. Then take turns asking and answering your questions. In this case, you will take a short time to ask five questions. Um, así como inicial, usted va a escribir cinco preguntas en general utilizando eh, la estructura del WH question, like the ones that we have been developing. Are you a doctor? Where do you work? Who is your best friend? What is your last name? What is your brother's name? Where, where do you live? Entonces, usted va a escribir, en este caso, pues, eh, cinco preguntas a sus compañeros. Are you ready to the class? Yes. Oh, yeah, you know, that's examples, right? So think about okay. these questions and we will take a short time to um, share these questions with your partners tomorrow and for at the beginning of the class. So we will be working and we will be socializing the questions that you have written. Como uh, las preguntas que están arriba, ustedes van a, van a escribir esas cinco preguntas y las van a socializar con sus compañeros. Are you from, you know, are you from El Salvador? Are you from Mexico? Is, is, your, is your friend Salvadoran? Is your English class in the afternoon? So think about these questions. Bien, eh, yo sé que algunos ya tienen algunas. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a tomarnos dos minutitos para ir escribiendo las preguntas aquí en el chat, las preguntas que ustedes van haciendo ya. Entonces, eh, vamos a ir leyéndolas, eh, las preguntas que ustedes vayan realizando y vamos a ir viendo la estructura. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you. Okay, who is your, uh, is your mother my co-worker? Are you, are, is your best friend, is your best friend from Japan? Are you from San Salvador? Okay, good. Is your mother my co-worker? Um, are you Mexican? Oh, are you married? Oh, muy buena pregunta. Are you going to Qatar? Is she ready for the class? Okay, good. Are you interested in continuing to study English? Where do you live? Where do you live? That's good questions. Also, we have Carmen, Wendy. What other questions we can socialize? Let's see. The next question is, uh, is your mother from El Salvador? Are you happy today? Where do you born? 
um, are you on time to your job? Is your favorite class English? Nice question. Is your teacher is your teacher from Japan? Okay, some possible possible questions that we can socialize, right? Yeah, that's okay. So you know the structures and also some short answers like yes, I am, no, I'm not. Yes, she is, no, she's not. Yes, you are, no, you're not. Where are you work? Um, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? In bed they are. So where do you work? Or oh, what do you do? Um, otra pregunta para decir de dónde eres. Uh, where do you come from? Where do you come from? De dónde vienes? Are you com completing your English classes successfully? That's okay. Very formal. What is your favorite color? That's okay. Do you like? When do you when do you born? Where where were you born? When where where when when, uh, when do you born? When were you, okay, so let's see. Do you like your favorite? Um, do you like your favorite food? Yo creo que sí, habría que cambiar esa pregunta. Or what, what, is, your, what is your favorite? Yes. What is your favorite? Exactly. What is your favorite color? Do you have lunch? Y le quitamos la. Do you have lunch? Do you like sing? Do you like the movie or do you like do you like the movie oh, okay. sing sing okay are you and your sister best friends mm -hmm. uh, do you study I said yeah do you study why do you want to learn English who is she muy bien good okay that's very valuable okay students uh, we will continue tomorrow working with some other statements some other exercises mm -hmm. as part of the backup and I know that it's a great opportunity for all of us to practice some statements. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Congratulations for the work done. I'm very happy because most of you have participated actively. Remember that it's a process that we go step by step learning and getting more experience about that. So thank you guys. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.